Okay, so before we can really get into anything, we have to talk about the difference between a vector and a scalar. And so scalars are things that you're used to. So scalars are the math you've done since you were like in second grade, where you just add numbers, subtract numbers, or multiply them and divide them, right? But vectors are different. So vectors are things that mathematically behave a little bit different. And once you learn the math, it's not that complicated, but you have to treat them differently than scalars. So first off, what's a vector? What's a scalar? Okay, so a scalar is what you're used to. A scalar is a number that only has a magnitude. And so when we say magnitude, magnitude means how much, right? It's the, the quantity of it. So like the magnitude of your height or the magnitude of your weight, right? Those are just numbers. A vector is something that has a magnitude and a direction attached to it. So for instance, a scalar would be like if I said I walked five meters, right? I didn't tell you where I walked. I just told you I walked five meters. So I took five meters worth of steps in some direction. A vector would be if I said I walked five meters north because five meters north is going to be different than, say, walking five meters south, right? And when we get into things like momentum and energy and forces and stuff like that, the direction something goes, if it changes direction, that's going to matter. So that's why we talk about vectors. Okay, so let's look at a couple examples of vectors versus scalars. So let's say I have a track, right? So here's a track, and you're going to go out on the track, and you're going to run... Uh, 400 meters, right? You're going to run a quarter. So you start here. Here's the starting line. You run here and you run all the way around the track and you end at the finish line, right? So there's two different things you could measure based on how far you went. So I could measure distance or I could measure displacement. So the distance is what you're used to measuring if you go run a race. If you run a quarter, you know the distance you're running is 400 meters, right? So it doesn't matter that you're over here and you're changing direction, you change direction again, and then you change direction again, and change direction again, right? It doesn't make any difference. So your distance is 400 meters. This is a scalar, right? This doesn't have a direction attached to it. It's just a number, right? Displacement is a vector. So displacement, it says is how far you are from the starting point. So displacement is measured by drawing an arrow from where you started to where you finished, right? And in this case, if I started at the starting line, I ran all the way around and I ended at the starting line, how far am I from the starting point? Well, I mean, that's easy. If you started and you ended there, you're zero meters away, right? You're at the same point. Okay, so let me give you a different example to show you where it would be a little bit different instead of just zero. Let's say you ran 500 meters, right? So let's say, I started here and then, you know, you ran a 500. I don't know why you'd run a 500. So let's say you ended up here, right? You ran 500 meters. So the distance now, this is easy. The distance in this new case, the new one is 500 meters, right? But now my displacement is going to be different. So my displacement is measured by drawing an arrow from where I started, I started there, to where I finished. And the length of this arrow is the magnitude, and that's 100 meters. So that means that my displacement in this new case is 100 meters that way. You have to draw some sort of arrow, so east or west or north or south or draw an arrow showing the direction, something that attaches a direction to it because vectors have directions. Okay, so let's look at another measurement we could make. Instead of talking just about how far we went, right, let's look back at the original example where we just went one lap, right, so to here. Now let's look at how fast you're going. So there's two different things we can look at. One is a vector, one is a scalar. There's speed versus velocity. Okay, so speed is a scalar. Speed doesn't have direction attached to it. So in your car, you have a speedometer because the number on there doesn't tell you direction. It just tells you how fast you're going at that moment. So speed is distance divided by the time it took you to, to, to go that distance, right? So let's say you ran this in 10 seconds, right? I'm sorry. 40 seconds, right? 10 seconds would be impossible. <laughs> so let's say you ran 400 meters in 40 seconds, right? You're going to the Olympics. Distance divided by time, that means your speed for the whole time was 400 divided by 40. Oops, 40 seconds. So 400 divided by 40 is 10 meters per second, right? So that's your speed. Okay, velocity is displacement divided by time. So velocity is a vector velocity has direction attached to it, okay? So again, same thing as speed. It's just now instead of using distance, we're using displacement. So displacement divided by time is going to be my velocity. And so 
for our first example, it was zero because we ended where we started, right? So it's just going to be zero divided by 40, which is obviously zero meters per second. So you can see there's going to be times when using speed is going to be better, and there's going to be other times when using velocity is better. So you just have to decide which one is more meaningful at this time. If you're running a race, something like this, where you don't care that you're changing direction, that's when we want to talk about speed. But if we're doing something like uh, looking at the energy of something or the change in momentum of something like we'll do later on, if something changes direction, the velocity changes, the velocity is going to be what's important, not just the speed, because the fact that it changed direction is going to matter. Okay, so let's look at some examples of things that are scalars and things that are vectors, because we're going to look at a lot of different things this year, and you have to be able to differentiate whether they're a scalar or whether they're a vector, because the, the type of math you use is going to differ based on what you're measuring, right? So scalars, let's start with those, because those are the easy ones. Okay, so distance and speed, we already talked about those. Those are scalars, doesn't matter what direction you're going. Time, time is a scalar. There's no such thing as like east time and west time and forward time and backwards time. Time is just time, right? Energy, energy is a scalar too. There's no positive negative energy, negative energy. There's just energy. Temperature, there's no such thing as direction to temperature, right? So temperature is a scalar. Okay, what about vectors? Okay, so there's displacement and velocity. We already talked about those. Acceleration is basically the rate of change of velocity, right? So acceleration has a direction. Force is a vector because force involves acceleration, right? And if you think about it, if something's coming at you, which way you apply that force is going to make a difference. And then momentum, too. Momentum is a vector, right? Momentum is one of the things where the direction really matters because if you think of an object that has momentum that hits a wall and stops, when we get into it, it's different than if the object hits the wall and bounces off. There's a different change in momentum based on those two ways that it could stop, right? So vectors, things that have direction, we need to use vector math. Scalars are just numbers. They just have a magnitude. All it means is how much.